Hey everybody, welcome back. Been having some really good runs in uh, in Repentance lately. The randomizer, it, it, it definitely take it away. There were some... It, don't... Come on, you're gonna crash on the title screen? Oh, you know what? It's because I minimized it. <laughs> Alright, that one's on me. Um, the randomizer has taken away, but it, it do be giveth as well. It do be giveth. That is Tainted Maggie to the Lamb. Wow, that's the wrong scene to turn off. You, you can tell it's early on a, on a Sunday morning over here. Really? And now it's just, uh, it's, it's gone. It's gone black forever. This is, oh, you know what? It's because it's minimized. No, wait, get, just give it a, sometimes OBS, there you go. It just takes a second to hook in. Okay. Um, it's not that early on a Sunday, just for the record. Like, it, it, it's 9.27 a.m., but, you know, with kids, that's basically like midday. V8, R1, L4, SM. As we play a, a little Tainted Maggie. One, I haven't played Tainted Maggie in a long time, honestly, but also one of the more fun characters in the game to refresh your memory. Uh, it, it's kind of, it, it's a bit of a complicated character, let's be honest. You have two real heart containers on the far left of our health bar. And then you have, everything after that is transient. When you get HP, um, it decays every, I don't know, it feels like maybe every 20 seconds or something like that. Um, so you, there is an incentive to keep the rush on, but you do also have the ability uh, to, to preserve those two on the far left there. Uh, and then on top of that, you had Yumhard helping you out as well. The thing that's worth noting is that, you know, you, when you kill an enemy, you get this. It, it, this is more of a reminder for me, by the way, than a reminder for you at this point. But um, you get this HP that drops, you pick it up, and, you know, it's just kind of like, it, it's a lot like Tainted Keeper. You're just trying to constantly have, like, a little bit of a supply to help you out here. I don't know what I did to the Isaac gods, by the way, to... <laughs> To, uh, well, I should say, uh, ex excuse me, damage minus 0 0.66. I'd like to, I, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. That's a little rude. Anyway, we have to be careful when, when you have to backtrack like this. Are you kidding me? Uh, it gets a little spicy sometimes because you can ruin your devil deal chance, which is exactly what happened, actually. Um, when you lose... I'm not gonna die. I know you're like, you're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I know it looks kind of bad here for a second. Just chill out. This isn't my first day on the job. Probably should go back for the spirit heart, but... Anyway, we, we lost our deal with the devil. The deal with the devil is only impacted by the... Uh, the damage that you take on the far left two hearts. I don't know why I keep talking about it as if you're unfamiliar with the way that these mechanics work. Um, maybe maybe it's because it's 9.29 on a Sunday, you know? Just enjoying my coffee, playing a little bit of Isaac here. Uh, I'm gonna try this. I... I feel insanely blessed. <laughs> that is, uh... It is substantially luckier than usual. Okay, and then you want to make sure at this point you want to leverage your existing advantages. Okay. I mean, our, our actual damage, like, with our tears is still pretty bad. But the... There's no doubt that the, the stapler helps out. Hey, have you seen my stapler? I just got it. You if, you if you haven't seen my stapler, you weren't really paying attention, were you? Have you seen my stapler? Office Space. Great movie. Genuinely, look, there's a lot of movies. Let me let me caffeinate before I get off on this tangent. There's a lot of movies I would say, you know, from... I mean, as time passes, the norms that, uh, you know, made a movie popular sometimes shift and they make a movie. Like, that's why I, I, I shouldn't say it in this context necessarily, but, like, when people say something aged badly... Sometimes it's not that it aged badly, because, like, it didn't actually age at all. Is that society changed around it, you know? Which is not to say that it's right or wrong either way, but... It's just to say, you know, when there's a movie that, like, you know, in 1975... It was hilarious, and now you're like, ooh, it's a little bit, uh, cringeworthy. It's, you know, the movie is what the... At least my philosophy, the movie is as it always was. It's the... 
you know, the... Not the context, rather, but like the contemporary norms that have changed around it, which is, you know, just how society works. Um, so there's some movies from the 90s, the 2000s that are definitely, you know, a little bit in that camp for sure. And you, you don't want to be the person. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, I, uh, I saw a crash. Not the David Cronenberg one that's actually good, but the, uh, I think it's Paul Haggis. The Paul Haggis one that's garbage. Um, maybe it's not Paul Haggis now that I think about it. Anyway, it, it won Best Picture at like the 2005 or 2006 Oscars. It's just like a, it, it, it's like the Forrest Gump for racism, kind of, is, is what that movie is if you've never seen it. It's, it's gone down as like one of the... Uh, and we're, we're going to the lamb so we can move on. It's gone down as one of the worst best picture winners of all time. I think most people seem to uh, agree that it's a bit manufactured. A, you know what? I can take these. No speed downs, please. Okay. A bit manufactured, um, a bit uh, saccharine, a bit cloying, and, and extremely convenient, you know? I saw it as like a 17 year old. I was like, oh my god, this movie's gonna fix America. <laughs> I liked the movie so much the first time that I saw it that I, uh, I, and this is like, you know, how not to buy Gifts 101. I liked the movie so much when I saw it that I gave a, a copy of the movie to my mom for Christmas one year. And I was it, almost, I don't, I don't think I said something like this, but in my head I was like, this is going to change your life. Not that she was, you know, Sandra Bullock's character in the movie to begin with. I was just like, you know, you got to see this. Anyway, um, I don't think Office Space is one of those movies. If anything, you know, I think as time has gone on, you know, it, it's been, uh, it, if anything, it's, it's proven downright um, prophetic, maybe to some extent of the prevalence of, you know, the... Uh, corporations that don't give a crap about you and jobs that you don't even know what you're doing in them essentially um not not that i'm an expert in that kind of stuff but i have been reading some david graber so uh you know i i think i've got it all figured out great movie though do it a love i office space might though i will say it might be the first movie i remember like burning out on in my entire life Remember my parents watched I was probably like nine when it came out. My parents watched it, uh, whoop. And they were like, this is the funniest movie I've ever seen. Uh, and then I got to see it, and I was like, I don't even get the jokes at all, but, you know, I'm ten years old. I'm like, ah, they beat up the printer! <laughs> they beat up the printer. Who the heck is Michael Bolton, right? And, uh, I, I still enjoyed it, but I think, like, as a, as a teenager... And, and an adolescent, I'm pretty sure that, that a, it was one of those movies that was, like, always on TV. And anybody that, like, owned a DVD player in 2002, there were only, like, five DVDs that people would own. And I know we've, we've been down this road before, so I apologize, but everybody was like, check it out, dude, Gladiator. Check it out. When the arrows go whipping by your head, <laughs> that's Dolby 5.1, baby. They owned Saving Private Ryan when the bullets go whizzing by your head. That's uh, Dolby 5.1, baby. If you're saying I don't remember that, I'm, I honestly have to ask whether or not you were really there, quite frankly. So this makes deals with the devil cost money, right? And well, you know what? This is why we have the item description mod. Devil deals use coins instead of hearts. It's nice to have a... Uh, I mean, we, we have an angel deal chance here, I suppose. Did I just skip the deal with the devil on the last floor? If so, good job, brain, I think, but we can hold this for now. There's no reason. The benefit we get out of holding it is we have further, uh, we have less far to backtrack if we want to go back and try to grab it later. Well, look at this tiny boy right here. Everybody had the Matrix, too. I mean, that DVDs were like a revelation there. You're like, I've got to see how they filmed that bullet time sequence. They What, they had a billion cameras all around in like a, a circle and it was going... Thuk, 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 thuk. DVDs are kind of funny looking back. You know, especially because at the time, you know, I would be like, oh, DVDs are never going to go out of style. How can you get... 
how can you get better video quality than a DVD? It's not possible. Um, meanwhile, like, you know, I, I didn't even realize, but I was buying everything in full screen instead of widescreen. They used to have, uh, you know, the oper you'd, you'd go to the Future Shop or the Best Buy. You go to the DVD section, they'd have some copies of Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship of the Ring. You'd be like, why would I ever want widescreen? It's got, like, little bars at the top and bottom that cuts things off. Like, why would I pay DVD prices for, for a VHS crop? I know. Now I know. It, it took me, you know, ten years of doing YouTube. Now I understand you actually get, uh, more... You see more in a 16x9 crop than you do in a 4x3, okay? But... I, I did, I, I, I think that they were named in a deliberately confusing way, you know, full screen, wide screen. Why wouldn't I want full screen, man? I, I bought the whole TV, I don't want to just use the center. That's like going to see the new Disney film Jungle Cruise. You pay for the whole seat, yet you only use the edge. And I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna see Jungle Cruise. I'm also, I'm, I'm going off on a, I don't, I hope I don't go off on a rant here, but... I was all stoked. I was like, I'm, you know what? I'm going to do it. I've, I've talked to my accountant. I'm okay paying 30, 35 bucks to watch The Green Knight. Starring Dev Patel from A24. I was ready. Uh, Red Hearts would be awesome. Oh my god. Um, wait, you know what? We have Yum Hearts, so I think we can still play our Angel deal a little. Try to get the at least one of the payouts. I don't really want to fight for it, but we could just walk out instead of fighting the Angels, I guess. Um, turns out, in theaters only. And I, I tweeted, it was a little satirical, because, you know, I'm not in the business, but I, I tweeted, YTF, the Green Knight, um, theaters only. And people, you know, I get they're just trying to have conversation, but people uh, did reply and say things like, I just saw it, it's good. And I'm like, yeah, that's not really, like, what's holding me back. You know, I, I, it's it's not, I mean, it's partly COVID, for sure, especially with the rise of the Delta variant that apparently might have an r naught of somewhere between 5 and 8. Even though I'm double vaxxed, you know, I'm not trying to run the risk of a breakthrough infection and mild flu-like symptoms um, just to go see the new A24 film. Uh, but then the other thing is, like, I, I think people are like, you know, stop being scared, the movie's good, go see it in theaters, you gotta see it in widescreen. And I'm like, shut up, dummy, I got a 10-month-old infant. <laughs> just, just, what, what's your praxis for that one? Hey, honey, I'm gonna go see The Green Knight by myself at a 10 a.m. Saturday showing, you're good with the baby, right? Or alternatively, hey, honey, you wanna go see this new A24 film? Uh, let's bring the baby. Or alternatively, uh, hey, honey, let's, uh, you know, get a babysitter. I mean, I, that's, like, definitely doable, don't get me wrong, but Kate's still waiting on her, uh, two, 14 days since those two immunity, you know what I mean? So that's, like, the, I'm, I'm now, like, I'm, I'm not anti-theater. I know we talk about going to the theater, like, all the time here, but I'm not anti-theater by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just, like, I'll, I'll take my Nobel Peace Prize for not even entertaining the thought of bringing my baby to a, a, a movie theater. Now that I have a baby, you know, I we will take our child to the movies, I'm sure, at some point. But a, a 10-month-old baby, you don't need to be taking that to the theater. I know you're like, what about if you're seeing a Pixar movie? Not, it, they're 10 months old, man. Like, you, you don't need to be... I mean, I, I get that, like, sometimes out of convenience, you might take them to the movie just so you can see the movie for yourself, but it's kind of a selfish act at that point if the child can't even enjoy the movie themselves. You shouldn't be... Unless, I'll allow, you know, like a special, hey, this is a showing that's for parents and babies. That's okay. 100% deal. Oh, you know what? I had a I had the angel chance on the last floor because of uh, the the sack room we played, I guess. My my causality's a little buggy here. But it's still still working it through. Anyway. So, uh, you know, I was all stoked to watch the Green Knight. I I want to be I don't have the fortitude to be one of those liars on the internet who's like I will never see an A24 movie again as long as I live. I'm like, ah, I'm shaking my fist, but I'm like, ah, I'll catch it in video on demand. Despite the fact that this one specific thing doesn't immediately tailor to the expectations and needs that I have as an individual consumer in this exact moment, you'll see me soon.
when it comes out on video on demand in 1963. Ask not what you can view for your con country. <laughs> Sorry, you, this is a word you got to finish. The, the, the interruption you do there, uh, normally comedic. Uh, extra comedic that time. Anyway. So that was my uh, that was my Saturday. Was real, you know, re recording a little bit and then also realizing I'm gonna watch the Green Knight and then not being able to watch the Green Knight. But you know, life goes on. I, w I was uh, I was set to overpay, man. Cause you gotta remember when you're getting a babysitter. I think it's like a different story. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Every evil item. Held gives you 0.5 damage up, and it might actually be one damage up because of uh, because of the gold, or it might be 0.5 because of the gold. But either way, like 0.5 damage in a situation like that is nothing to sneeze at. This in incentivizes me to maybe take some deals with the devil. I mean, I, I'm gonna. Th this is like what happens when you live on a coast, right? So, you, you know, it's you, tough to move, to get sympathy, I should say. It's tough to move to a place uh, that is renowned for being expensive and then be like, look at how expensive this stuff is. But I was trying to price it out, and I'm like, you know, it, it, it does leave something of like a, let's not say a bad taste, but when you buy a movie, ev everybody becomes like a commodity trader when they buy a digital good, right? It's not like, you know, what is this worth? It's like, well, it should be free because it's really only electrons being delivered to me. There's not even, you know, 35 cents worth of silicon in the in the cables, you know? It's like when you go to a restaurant and you're like, mashed potatoes, 250. I could get you I could get you eight potatoes for that. This is ridiculous, Red Robin. Um Let me let me peep this real quick. These are not a, a evil items, I think. Hungry soul. Chance to spawn ghosts when killing an enemy. Ghosts do damage. You don't take damage from the explosion. That sounds fun. You know, I, I, why not just hold Guppy's paw? I mean, we've actually been using Butterbean, which is a little comical to begin with, but... But you bristle a little bit, right? When you're paying 35 bucks to buy a movie video on demand. And I think if you live, like, if you're single, you're watching it, like, just yourself, that's, you know pricey but I was trying to like price it out in my head and I'm like okay let's say uh, like Kate and I were going to the movies two tickets at the movies is probably around 30 bucks Canadian I think it's like 15 bucks uh, for an adult ticket at the movies these days at least in in Vancouver I don't know if we even take Leo man I mean we, we could probably get away with it because we got a nice HP reserve yum heart blow up some mushrooms easily kind of talking myself into it honestly so like like right off the bat you're paying you're paying five bucks extra to watch it at home but you know if you take the sky train there that's like I think the sky trains like 275 or three bucks a ride now so you add another six bucks now you're you're breaking even watching it at home. Which you might think is like, oh, well now, but you're watching it on like a big screen and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, you got the you got the ambiance, you got the sound, you got the Dolby Atmos, you got the kid kicking the seat behind you, etc., etc. But then I'm like, if we don't take the SkyTrain, so let's take it back to 30 bucks. If we drive, we got to park. You know, the movie theaters, at least in, in downtown Vancouver, don't have parking, you know, at the theater, which I know is a foreign concept, but... Um, you, so literally, like, you're in a situation where you might have to pay, like, ten bucks to park for the duration of the movie. So now we'd be sitting at, uh... Oh, I guess we're just out, huh? Um, now you're, you're sitting at something, you know, more like forty bucks. And I'm, I'm even doing the, ser the service, I would say, to the, uh, theater of not factoring in concessions and stuff like that. Like... I, I know that people always talk about how expensive concessions are, and, and they're not wrong. Like, you're, you're, you're paying a staggering amount of money for, you know, like, popcorn that, on a, like, materials basis... Uh, really? Minus 0. 0.68? That's a little much, man, but also, you know, if you just give me a magic mush, I'll, I'll consider it even here. Um, <clears throat> but, like, that, you could just go and not buy 
popcorn. You know what I mean? You could just... I'm not going to hold the concession price against the movie theater necessarily. But then now, like, so after all that, you're like, okay, so it might cost you a little bit more to go to the theater, but you still get the experience, which is true. But then I'm like, I, I haven't even factored in, like, the cost of a babysitter. Like, I'm just going to level with you. I don't even know what you pay a babysitter. I'm assuming that... Uh, it, it, I mean, it depends on the situation, right? I think if you have, like, a a 12-year-old child who is a babysitter, there's there's no uh, protection for them from the provincial labor board. So as a result, using the power of, uh, you know, negotiations, as learned from many high-powered business books, you could probably get a little bit of a bargain. But if we're talking about, uh, you know, you're getting, like, an adult or, or I don't know, even, like... I was gonna say a family friend, but uh, mine is 0 0.28 tears down. That's not what I had last. I I got freaking destroyed last time, man. Give me give me a donation here though. Anyway, just keep in mind we're going to the lamb. It's okay. Just just wedge me back here. Thank, just wedge me, wedge me, Jay. Wedge me, wedge me. Been very nice to our donation machine late lately. So let's assume you know if you're going to the movie, if you're paying a babysitter. Like you want the you want your night to be worth it. I'm not gonna factor in the price of again like a dinner out or something like that. But you might you, instead of just getting a babysitter for a two hour trip to the movie, you're like, ah, oh, you know, if Susan's coming over anyway, we might as well turn it into like a whole date. As a result, maybe you got I don't know four hours, five hours of babysitter time. You're looking at maybe like another fifty bucks or something like maybe more. I, again, I'm literally like completely ignorant to the price of what a, a babysitter is. Or the, the going rate, I should say. So now I'm like, I don't know, I, I haven't kept a running tally, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're like... At that point, going to see a movie at the theater with an infant that requires babysitting at home? I, I think it might be like like $12,000. Again, I, I didn't exactly do the mathematics on it, okay? And I apologize for that, because I think it would have made the joke a little bit better. But I, I think it's, uh, it's roughly in the ballpark of like $12,000 or something. So is the I ask you is the Green Knight worth twelve thousand dollars? If you say yes, then you know we we'll start to look into it. I suppose we'll do an, like an exploratory committee or something. Can you just yeah? I was gonna say like don't you? I, oh, you know what they do damage before they explode. I I can't be upset by this. I don't think we're we're playing the greatest tainted Maggie run, by the way. I think we're we're maybe uh, I think I think we're doing fine, but I, I I don't think I'm playing specifically to the strengths of tainted Maggie necessarily. But we're still having a good run. Anyway, long story short, that's not to say like oh every movie should come out video on demand the same day it's in theaters. It's rather for me to say you know. If, if you saw my post and you're like, this guy doesn't want to go to the theaters. There's like a, a, a simple financial calculation that factors in. But then on top of that... Oh my god, it's always High Priestess, man. Uh, on top of that, it's not even just the financial aspect. It's the... Uh, you know, the when you, when you got a baby, I don't want to inconvenience others by taking the baby uh, to go see a movie. Especially the Green Knight, which I think is rated uh, our version of R to begin with. So... It's not merely, you know, pandemic anxiety combined, or, or, you know, with my own hermit-like nature. It's it's much more like a little... We should just be way more aggressive about running into enemies, by the way. Um, or bombing them. That seemed to work very well. We want evil items, please. I don't think these items are evil. What, what, is, what does Dr. Evil say? When he's trying to get Scott to become evil. <laughs> I think we'll take Head of Krampus, honestly. Like, Guppy's Paw, it's not that bad, but... I think Head of Krampus is a little bit more worthwhile for us. Just want some evil items. An evil medical school? You always do that! So anyway, I'll see the green... You know, more power to anybody who saw the green knight, but... I was... I was just, yeah, I mean, because you're always like, why won't people consider what my problems are, right? Like, I think everybody's got a little element of that in themselves for sure. But when people were like, you should see it, it's really good. I'm like, yeah, well, it's not, it's not the quality of the movie that's stopping me, I promise you. If I was going to see a movie at the theaters, it would definitely be 
um, Green Knight this weekend. It would not be Disney's Treasure Cruise, a, a movie that I think is based on a, 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 a ride? A roller coaster? Admittedly, Pirates of the Caribbean was also based on a roller coaster. And the first Pirates of the Caribbean is kind of litty. Okay, I remember seeing it. I was on a family trip to Oshawa, Ontario. It's not necessarily considered a, a, a big tourist destination, but I was from... Man, these shops have been very cruel so far, huh? Uh, it was from... I, oh, I'm from, I should say, a town that's smaller than Oshawa. So as a result, when I went to Oshawa, I was like, oh my god, this is like the big city. Plus, oh, it's close to Toronto. Look at that. Oh, right, we have uh, Stompy. This, okay, this, finally. Praise Helix, thanks for the, the positivity. I do think, uh, you know, D12 combined with Stompy. You know what? I let, Let's get interesting. I don't know if I've ever approach this uh, like this on a run before but I, I kind of feel like d12 plus stompy is is an interesting mechanic interesting enough for me to feel compelled to give it a try so what do you do uh, uh, I was gonna say you you just uh, use it on a big room then I realized uh, it's probably better for you to use it on a room that has like some rocks in it so let, let's use it on that item room back there don't spend too much time though make sure you take the negative after this okay there's some there, there's some here. I guess you, you would step on these first. Get a quick two of diamonds. N nothing wrong with that. Reroll these real quick. Um, well, it's, a, you know, <laughs> it's a bit of a slap in the face, but that's okay. Get me out of here. And, uh, yeah, I saw Pirates of the Caribbean. I saw, I saw a couple great movies at that, uh... Oshawa Movie Theater over the course of family vacations over the years. Most noteworthy, probably Pirates of the Caribbean. Secondarily, Reign of Fire, a, a movie that's referenced uh, on occasion here. <clears throat> cool, cool. All right. So, no, no big deal. Just a random health down. I'm not against Jungle Cruise. I'm just telling you, you know. <laughs> Oh, we really want to preserve our deal with the devil here. So just play it smart. We can get HP from killing these guys. Your ghosts, you know, they're really helping us out, actually. Like, on, on, I'm, I'm thinking right now of what rooms will look like. Oh, let's go. Uh, like, on the, the dark room. And I'm like, I can see the value of these ghosts. I don't mind this. Unidentified and a range up. Okay. At this point, you know, I, I'm, I'm just exercising some basic stats. Uh, it, it's not knowledge, it's complete hunches, but... Uh, we have had some truly trash pills. So, I think it makes sense... ...to try to take as many pills as possible with the hopes that, like, maybe there's some gems sitting in your rotation. Soul of the Forgotten is very interesting. Um, again, we're not in a rush here. Really. Um, so I think Soul of the Forgotten, I really like. Um, not to do extra damage, but as like a... I'm realizing that the true value of these items is is much more in... Um, and you know, screw this. I'm just... Let's just start smacking, man. Uh, the true value of these items is much more in being able to have, like, a cannon fodder that you can then use. Oh, there's our, uh, our fool card. Not that we need it now that I think about it, but it's in having cannon fodder that you can then use. Uh, and I'm trying to find a good room to use this on, but I'm, I'm kind of being paralytic there. Uh, I, it's having cannon fodder you can use on an eddy room, okay? I finally finished my, my train of thought there. I know the thing is, we're gonna lose these, like, spirit hearts anyway, just due to decay. That comes naturally and unavoidably with, with, uh, tainted Maggie, so. I think it's most sensible, that's very nice as well, um, to just, you know, leverage them for a little bit of extra damage here early on. So hopefully we can find a way to use Soul of the Forgotten. This is just like, it's a bit of a slap in the face, honestly. I, I feel like I've had very 
bad luck with shops for a few runs in a row. And it's, it's you know, life goes on. I'm not paying five cents for three flies. Like, that's, I'm not at that level yet. That's like paying, you know, $12,000 to go see the Green Knight in theaters. How's that? How's that? A little smooth, a little smooth right? A little smooth? A little cheeky, a little smooth? Doesn't reroll poops. Note to self, does not reroll poops. Um, you know, as, as much as I do, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really want to just go fight mom. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it. The smart thing to... <clears throat> We're fine. The smart thing to do is not do it. So let's avoid that. And instead, we're going to try to get to an item room. And uh, again, an eddy room would really hit the spot. This run should be good, but it, it, it does... Can I... If we're just being honest, it does kind of suck. I never want to be like, oh, please like take pity on me. My run's so bad. But it's more like, if, if you just look at this honestly, like, how does a run get to this stage of the game and have literally, uh, wow, it would just destroy them at the cost of many spirit hearts, but we were going to lose those anyway. Um, like, how does a run get to this stage of the game uh, and still have 2.92 damage without having something like soy milk? It's a, it's a sad thought, honestly. It really makes you think. Yeah, 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 and then we just, if we could just sneak a shot in there, <laughs> there you go. That's better, okay. Euthanzia, as Dan would say. Now, I don't know. I don't know if, if we've seen everything there is to see here, but I am going to keep the soul of the forgotten, and the, the meat and potatoes of that decision is that is honestly, wow, that was uh, not the best play of my life. Um, the meat and potatoes of that is honestly just that, uh... I think that it would be more fun if we can make it work. The Empress card is, is fine, don't get me wrong, but it's it's one and done, right? Like, you, your Empress card, uh... Wow, I'm just walking into those. Um... Just please pick up the hearts. Your Empress card, uh, you know, you use it, you get some value out of it, and then you'll never see it again. This, I'm like, uh, imagine if we could use it to get, like, Sacred Heart. I'm just willing to say, by the way, one of the worst mom fights I think I've ever had. At least in, like, in the Repentance era. <laughs> Over, it's, it doesn't put a, too much of a damper on the run overall, but I'm, I'm walking into everything. Like Gwen Stefani, I'm walking into spider webs. I screen my- I do screen my phone calls. You'd have to be a fool not to in today's day and age. Okay, we take the negative. While we're here, why not? You know... Might as well try to leverage every advantage we can get. That wasn't like the only thing I did this weekend, you know. I mean, first off, the weekend's still ongoing, for one. Um, it's it's literally Sunday morning. Cool. Health down. Unidentified. We gulped. Uh, the it's not filigree feather. I think it's just called black feather. That's that's fine. At some point, we're gonna get an evil item. Okay, an evil item, an evil mom's knife, and then what a shot. I I don't even know if there was some any dodgeability built into that one, but. One day, we're gonna get an evil item. It's gonna provide us with the slightest degree of value to have this. Like, I, I'm learning what these trinkets do. I really think that with knowing what these trinkets can do, I can take myself to the next level of Isaac's skill. I'm, I'm actually being sincere. I, I did not mean to hit that, by the way. I think that if I learn what trinkets do, I could become like a... I, I think I could become like a, a 100 run winner. Now I know I was there, I, I got over 100 in... Uh, I think it was just base repentance, it was even like pre-afterbirth, uh, which is pre-afterbirth plus, which is pre-repentance. Um, but, I, you know, repentance is a much tougher game, especially if we play with the randomizer rules. But I think in a, in a dream world, I can get there. I know it's a stretch, okay? 
World card. Mostly, world card, definitely sick. Because now we know there's no Eddie room. Which is unfortunate, but it's not like the world card didn't make that happen. That's, you know, that's Eddie's responsibility. We're stepping on those, because if they give us HP, we'll be happy to know. We got a yum heart burning a hole in our pocket right now. You gotta look. I think, by the way, like, in spite of uh, how this run looks right now, and I, I gotta admit, this is a pretty good trinket, I think, too, for if we're running into enemies deliberately taking damage, walking into spider webs. Um, I do think that this run is still a dub. And I, I can understand your hesitancy there, because it really doesn't have too much going for it. <laughs> but I, I truly look at this run as if, like, it's a dub in waiting, you know? We might be waiting a while. We're, we're not super slow, but definitely more behind schedule than I'd like to be. And I, you know, the quarter doesn't really help us out too much, but it's okay. I mean, we've had a, a very uninspiring, like, honestly, downright, like, conspiratorial sort of, like, run of luck here. It, it's not that the run is, is so horrible, like, woe is me or whatever, but, like, any time we get the opportunity to find a room that you would look to on a normal run to be like, this this one could do it. Um, you know, this, this room could help us out. Instead, it's just like, nah. How about a shop with, you know, notched axe in it? Um, when you already have Stompy, you know, it's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. But that's okay, we're almost through this floor, 67% chance of a Devil Deal. Yeah, Blind Rage is gonna be, that's gonna be a sleeper hit for us here. This is a great room to reroll. I suppose we should look, right, and see if there's a... Well, that's a... Uh... We, we re-rolled into a fantastic poop. But I suppose you always should look, right? And see if there's like a... Uh, a, a tinted rock before you do your re-rolls. But alas. Even this, like as much as this is going to sound like me being a baby. An orbital on a run where you're running into enemies is fine. But we kind of just like... I'm, I'm much more eager in just picking up like stats or something like that. Like work with me on this one, you know? Devil deal? Okay, we at least got the devil deal. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's, that's funny. Um, stabs you at the beginning of each floor. Increases your stats for the floor. Get Everybody walk the dinosaur. Damage is increased by... Is it an evil item? I don't I don't think we can take it, honestly. If, if Yamhar was, like, ready, I might... Because then we could just plan to use Yum Heart at the start of every floor, but I... I, I'll admit, okay, this is one of the situations where, like, it possibly could have worked because we get HP back from, like, the first enemies we kill. Um, but I'm not convinced that we would be alive if we, uh... If we did that. And even if we lived on this floor, like, it would have gotten easier from that point onwards, but there's no guarantee. Always a pain in the butt, by the way, to not know what your HP looks like uh, when you're playing as Tainted Maggie, but that's okay. We still got Soul of the Forgotten. I'm, I'm not necessarily holding out hope that it's going to work for us, but I do know it could. <laughs> So I'm like, after this, like, I mean, this is really, like, the last floor. Until the, the dark room. Now, on the dark room, you know, we get two guppy items or something like that. Things really start to come together, but... We're lucky that Tainted Maggie is, is a very resilient character as is, because, uh... We haven't had a whole heck of a lot to work with here. Keep in mind, like, on top of all my complaining about the item rooms and the shops and the etc. and the etc., we also have had, like, uh... Really, oh, uh, bad pill rotation with like a couple of, 
tears downs. Admittedly, we have 2020, which is great. 2020, though, carried a, a very sizable damage downgrade for a character that doesn't have high tier damage to begin with. I know I say this often, but this would be a an absolutely beautiful time to beat the odds. And pick up a deal with the devil. That's lovely. Uh, and this is just like the best you could ever ask for. <laughs> I gotta think, okay? Um... Because the thing is, Sulfur is really good, but I, I think... I think you take Rotten Baby for nice passive damage. I think you take Satanic Bible, and then, you know, Ghost Baby is just not worth it, quite frankly. And you go down, make sure you go down. Um, we're not going to get that many charges, so we're still going to be, like, a little tight on HP. And admittedly, oh, now that I think about it, I'm like, actually, I think I, I think I made a big mistake there. I think Satanic Bible sucks as Maggie because the hearts decay. Yeah, this seems bad. I, I think I just, I think I screwed that up. That, that could compromise this whole run, honestly. We would have been better off with something like Sulfur for sure. Um, yeah, we already lost the HP. Hmm. Okay, okay. All that means to me is we're going to have to be that much more clever moving forward. At least it's not for nothing. Like, it's, it's not for enough. <laughs> but at least it's not for nothing. In some ways. There's Soul of the Forgotten back there. Okay, okay. I actually think we're going to die, and I think it's going to come down to Satanic Bible. That's that's my hunch, but, you know, maybe we can work our way out of it. <clears throat> Bombs of the utmost importance. That was unfortunate. You know what? All we need to do is get a, a little head start. Step on all the skulls. I think this Satan fight is gonna be a it's gonna be a real pain in the butt, honestly. I don't know if you pop Soul of Forgotten to try to make the the Satan fight a little bit easier. Uh that's Kane, I think. Don't shoot. Soul of Lazarus. Hold on. Saved. Die immediately, revive at a half heart with some invincibility. Item is used automatically upon taking fatal damage. Okay, so just by holding this, we have an extra life. We don't want to. We don't want to use it intentionally. Well, I, I could concoct a situation where we might think that that's for the best, but we probably don't want to use it intentionally. What the heck is going on? That's, that hurts, but you know what? We're still going. Don't even use Satanic Bible yet. You pop it on a room where you need the HP. And are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing a little Eddie room here. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We could yum hard the, the blood bank. I don't even know what I want from you. I guess I just want... Because we already have Rotten, baby. I don't know what you can pay out with. Maybe you could just make my Satan fight that much easier. Okay, just ignore this for a second. Because, like, this is... Uh, this is an interesting situation we've got before us now. We like Soul of the Forgotten. Here's what you do. You, you take Soul of the Forgotten. You walk in here. You might as well step on this stuff, you know, while we're here. See what you got. A demon heart that's just burning a hole in the ground. I, I don't think you can pick that up with the Forgotten. Uh, we could have fished. You know what? We can in the future fish for HP like that. Okay. So, play Soul of the Forgotten. 50% chance for a coin, 100% chance... Uh, well, no, just a coin. Okay, there you go. Blessed. We should not be allowing you to lose your bone hearts here. Can you pick this up? No. Okay. Play this real quick. Then... Saved. All right. Now, this... You just gotta use your cerebellum, okay? We lost it after we left the room, didn't we? It, it only lasts for the room? I, th I thought... Yeah, okay. That's... You know, it's my bad. What's this next play? 50% chance for a random chest. Lucky. Lucky. Okay, next one. 
67% chance for increased angel deals. Give me my yum heart. Next one, 33% chance for an angel room item. We got a spirit heart. 100% chance for seven troll bombs. These are decaying, so... Next one is 100% chance to spawn the Uriel boss. We should be holding the Lazarus trinket right now. Cause it's isn't it the seventh one that is like the that's the be all end all? That's the one that people like lose their minds for. Fifty percent chance for seven soul hearts. Now we're now we're talking. <laughs> this is why we took the Lazarus item in. Okay, it's still, you're, you're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. Again, if we die, we come back as Lazarus. It's not great. It's not great, but we're in there. We're, we're still living. I am living for it. Ah, uh, that's amazing. I don't think we can get an angel deal after this, by the way. Like, I, I think that that was our last opportunity. You know what this means with Soul of Lazarus? Oh, well, come on! Rude. I think that it means we could die. Can I level with you? Here's what you do, okay? You want to win this run? Seven spirit hearts, blow yourself up. See you later. <laughs> Seven spirit hearts, blow yourself up. Die. Come back as Lazarus. I can't help but notice, despite coming back as Lazarus, we still have the tainted Maggie effect. That's, I mean, we basically we just, we blew the trinket, but we blew it for what I, I think is a very reasonable mistake. I thought we would it would actually be like a genuine character click, like a swap. Um, and as a result, we would have had the seven hearts permanently. Instead of with the decay attached. I'm realizing now that that's not the way it works, but it's still okay. The, the opportunity cost there was like one red heart plus technically like maybe a free deal with the devil. Um, on the, the lamb floor, but uh, that hurts. The free deal with the devil on the lamb floor also would have precluded us from getting the seven spirit hearts that we just got, and that might keep us alive long enough to justify it. We really want to see, like, nine lives plus. <laughs> First, we want to live through this, which looks like it's going to be okay, even though we're going to lose a lot of HP to decay. Um... We can get some red hearts back, maybe? Uh, not that we need them, necessarily. Okay, we might need them. That part where I said we might not need them, I'd like to apologize. You know, th it's still training, though. These are the things you gotta learn if you wanna be good at Isaac eventually. If you wanna, if you wanna get, like, a super streak, you gotta work these edge cases out in your head. So now we know something new about Soul of Lazarus. Okay, Lemmington, um, Death's Touch, Goathead, and Ocular Eyeballs. Um, we, I don't think we can take anything. I wish that we could, and it's possible that maybe you could take Death's Touch, uh, and, and then maybe your Spirit Hearts would stop decaying, but I, I don't necessarily think that's true. I do all, I have to imagine that Eye of the Occult is a, uh, is an evil item, so we'd actually generate, like, kind of a nice, uh, damage upgrade from that, which we definitely need with 3.63 damage at, at, at our present place in life. Um, but I do think this run would be absolutely screwed if we didn't have our yum heart built in. With that, I, I think there's a chance, and I think the chance is not great. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, and I don't even have a charge yet, so let's just chill. 
I'm gonna stop short of telling you what I think the chance is. Because I think it, it only leads to folly. I, I wanted that, but we should still be okay. But I do still think there's a shot here. You didn't pay out with anything, huh? That's like, that's your thing? I'm just gonna level with you. This is not the kind of room right now where we need to pop the yum heart. I, this might be regrettable, might be comedic timing. You lose something by popping the yum heart. You, well, maybe you don't. I was gonna say you lose the ability to pop it later, but you, you get the same amount of HP and it doesn't decay anyway, but... You're in the process of selling me right now. <laughs> Come on, one of you has to be dead by now. And you guys only drop hearts? Like, uh... Is that true? You only drop hearts if you've been contact damaged? Because that's kind of the whole reason I didn't pop this stuff. Saved. It's, it just, you know, at the end of the day, if we're being honest with one another, what does this require? It just requires good play. Drop a half heart. Drop a half heart. No half heart drop. Okay, okay, is no problem really. Um, this one, I'm still as as crazy as it sounds. I, I'm like, I don't think you need to pop it. The the explosions from you know whatever that item from the deal with the devil was called, they don't hurt us. I, we will remain unharmed. I'm very happy to have that item, by the way. Oh, you freaking. <laughs> Not gonna be able to get there. Nope, okay. <laughs> this room, I'm gonna pop it. Things, it just got a little hot in there. It's unfortunate because it was close to being workable. I think the, the dream with, uh... Oh, really? Okay. The dream with, uh, Satanic Bible is that you can save it... Uh, for the, the lamb fight specifically. I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted at, at how bad the run ended up being. Oh, the eternal heart though. It's not, the eternal heart doesn't decay so that's one extra hit. I hope it doesn't come across as just like sour grapes. I mean, we, we would have a much better chance to win if I hadn't taken Satanic Bible, but like the actual quality of this run is is extremely poor. <laughs> it's like really, really bad. Just as a, a general rule of thumb, I would say if you have to use Blast Assist, or if you have to use a bomb to beat Blast Assist on the uh, on the Dark Room. You have probably uh, got to run. You might be on a train wreck. You, Jeff Foxworthy, anybody? No. Okay, fair. That's that's fair. Brain is. It, I can feel the temperature in the room has gone up as I've overclocked my brain doing the matrix multiplication required here. What is matrix multiplication? Oh no, it's not like a, a mathematics thing. It's just doing your times tables well. Ready, steady, go by the Chemical Brothers place. There you go. Just patience, you know? This is why it's nice to record early in the day. Your, your patience is like unrivaled right here. A luck upgrade. These guys are just kind of annoying. Uh, much more annoying that we missed with every bomb. Uh, that one was better, though. Or we missed everything with our one bomb, I should say. We don't have a bomb to get to the second secret room now. I was kind of just... That's okay. It was only, it only took the Eternal Heart. It. I mean, that sucks, but... <laughs> I suppose we should have left the Eternal Heart on the ground. I got a little greedy there. I would love to... I, that was, I was just going to say, if you can give me a Spirit Heart. Or alternatively, yes, yes, yes... We got the second secret room unlocked there. That's that's lovely. 
Come on, give me- I have two luck. You, you haven't given me a single item on this floor yet. Three of these? It's not really what I'm looking for. Um, you gotta send it, man. You gotta just give it a shot. I- I think we'll probably die. Blind Rage is gonna be- I thought we could thread the needle. Blind Rage is gonna be quite nice. Keep in mind you got Yum Heart. Occasional, uh, half heart drop is super nice. The explosion might have saved us a little grief there. Just focus. Just focus. You dip between the shots. Saved. Phase two is going to be worse. But we might generate enough red hearts. Yeah, I was just thinking, look at all these red hearts around here. The more flies, the merrier. Thank you for not exploding. You got Yumhard. Is Yumhard's burning a hole in my pocket right now? Just waiting. What? I, I did Can I be honest? There's some comedic timing there. I didn't know we were one heart down. I thought we were at two hearts. I didn't even have a chance to glance at my HP. That hurts, because one yum heart press could have gotten us there. I'm still, I'm, I'm happy with the way we played the run. We made a grievous error with Satanic Bible, but we learned a lot, uh, especially, I feel like, the Lazarus trinket. We, we learned something that's going to benefit us in the future. Still fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the Green Knight this weekend as well. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.